Hey everyone, it's Melissa, the tech savvy girl. And today I wanted to talk to you about Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom not responding. This is on my new M1 Mac. I was doing a video on a comparison between the M1 and the traditional i5 and I couldn't get Photoshop or Lightroom to open. The first step we need to do because it's on the screen, we're gonna click on another icon and go to the top left to the Apple icon and we're gonna force quit and you can see it's not responding so we're gonna force quit again I'm not gonna report this incident I've already reported it to Adobe a few times and they're well aware of it we want to look for the creative cloud uninstaller next this is not going to uninstall it we're actually going to hit repair this will ask for your password just type it in and then it will prompt you to either uninstall or repair. We're going to select repair. Now this will take a few minutes. It shouldn't take too long on the new M1. I gotta say I really love the speed. It has really changed dramatically I think. And now we're going to test to see if that worked. First we'll open Lightroom. Looks good. We got it up and going. And now Photoshop. And looks like we're having the same issue so the next step we're gonna try doing is to update the application so the next thing we can do is either to fully uninstall it or Better yet, we can just update it. Either way, you're going to need to download the installer. Now, a lot of the times, so though, when you go to fully uninstall Adobe, you'll see this error that there's still ish stuff running in the background. So you're going to have to go to the website anyways and update it. We're just going to close this out. And then we're going to open Safari. You can use Chrome, anything you'd like. I used my Apple ID, so it's pretty easy to sign in. This is the new Touch ID. A lot of people were hoping for facial recognition. I really like this option because I think it speeds things up a lot more. And we're going to download the Photoshop installer. And that should just take a couple seconds. It shouldn't take long at all. And we're actually going to double click that and open. Yes, we trust it. It's Adobe. Sometimes you do have to change your security se settings, but as long as you had previously downloaded it, it shouldn't matter. And we're just going to let the update run and then once it's done we can reopen it. And look at that, it's working. Now, if it's still not working for you, we can still run the uninstaller. And if you remember it, it's we go back to the Creative Cloud uninstaller. And then we're going to select the uninstall. That should work. I 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and your programs are now working. If you like this video, please continue to like, follow, and subscribe. I look forward to doing more videos and seeing you real soon.